Wolof is a language of Senegal, the Gambia and Mauritania, and the native language of the Wolof people. Like the neighboring languages Surer and Fula, it belongs to the Senegambian branch of the Niger-Congo language family. Unlike most other languages of the Niger-Congo family, Wolof is not a tonal language. Wolof originated as the language of the Labu people. It is the most widely spoken language in Senegal, spoken natively by the Wolof people, 40% of the population, but also by most other Senegalese as a second language. Wolof dialects vary geographically and between rural and urban areas. Dakar Wolof, for instance, is an urban mixture of Wolof, French, and Arabic. Wolof is the standard spelling and may refer to the Wolof people or to Wolof culture. Variants include the older French Uolof and the principally Gambian Wolof, Jolof, Jolof, etc., which now typically refers either to the Jolof Empire or to Jolof rice, a common West African rice dish. Now archaic forms include Volof and Olof. The English language is believed to have adopted some Wolof words, such as banana, via Spanish or Portuguese, and yum, yummy, from Wolof nyam, to taste, nyam in several Caribbean English creoles meaning, to eat. Compare Seychellois Creole Niamniam, also meaning, to eat. Geographical distribution Wolof is spoken by more than 10 million people and about 40% approximately 5 million people of Senegal's population speak Wolof as their native language. Increased mobility, and especially the growth of the capital Dakar, created the need for a common language. Today, an additional 40% of the population speak Wolof as a second or acquired language. In the whole region from Dakar to St. Louis, and also west and southwest of Kaulik, Wolof is spoken by the vast majority of the people. Typically, when various ethnic groups in Senegal come together in cities and towns, they speak Wolof. It is therefore spoken in almost every regional and departmental capital in Senegal. Nevertheless, the official language of Senegal is French. In the Gambia, although about 20-25% of the population speak Wolof as a first language, it has a disproportionate influence because of its prevalence in Banjul, the Gambian capital, where 75% of the population use it as a first language. Furthermore, in Sarakunda, the Gambia's largest town, although only a tiny minority are ethnic Wolofs, approximately 70% of the population speaks and or understands Wolof. In Mauritania, about 7% of the population approximately people speak Wolof. Most live near or along the Senegal River that Mauritania shares with Senegal. Classification Wolof is one of the Senegambian languages, which are characterized by consonant mutation. It is often said to be closely related to the Fula language because of a misreading by Wilson 1989 of the data in Sapper 1971 that have long been used to classify the Atlantic languages. Varieties. <laughs> <laughs> Senegalese, Mauritanian Wolof and Gambian Wolof are distinct national standards, they use different orthographies and use different languages French versus English as their source for technical loanwords. However, both the spoken and written languages are mutually intelligible. Labu Wolof, on the other hand, is unintelligible with Standard Wolof, a distinction that has been obscured because all Labu speakers are bilingual in Standard Wolof. Orthography and pronunciation Note, phonetic transcriptions are printed between square brackets following the rules of the International Phonetic Alphabet The Latin orthography of Wolof in Senegal was set by government decrees between 1971 and 1985. The Language Institute, Centre de Linguistique Appliquée de Dakar, CLAD is widely acknowledged as an authority when it comes to spelling rules for Wolof. The complete alphabet is A, A, B, C, D, E, A, E, F, G, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, 
O O P Q R S T U W X Y Wolof is most often written in this orthography, in which phonemes have a clear one-to-one -one correspondence to graphemes. Additionally, two other scripts exist, a traditional Arabic-based transcription of Wolof called Wolofal, which dates back to the pre-colonial period and is still used by many people, and the Garai script, dating to 1961, which has been adopted by a small number of Wolof speakers The first syllable of words is stressed, long vowels are pronounced with more time, but are not automatically stressed, as they are in English. Vowels. The vowels are as follows. There may be an additional low vowel, or this may be confusion with orthographic a. All vowels may be long, written double, or short. A is written a grave before a long, prenasalized or geminate consonant. When a and o are written double, the accent mark is often only on the first letter. Vowels fall into two harmonizing sets according to ATR, IUAOER plus ATR, EOA are the minus ATR analogs of AOE. For example, lek o o n n gin elok n n eat past fin point two place u plural eight dor un nayan do r o ni n hit past fin point two place u plural hit. There are no minus a t r analogs of the high vowels i u. They trigger plus a t r harmony in suffixes when they occur in a root, but in a suffix they may be transparent to vowel harmony. The vowels of some suffixes or enclitics do not harmonize with preceding vowels. In most cases following vowels harmonize with them. That is, they reset the harmony, as if they were a separate word. However, when a suffix, clitic contains a high vowel plus ATR occurs after a minus ATR root, any further suffixes harmonize with the root. That is, the plus ATR suffix, clitic is transparent to vowel harmony. An example is the negative U in Dor u ma lean fa, d rumal nfa. Begin neg 1 sg 3 place lock. I did not begin them there where harmony would predict asterisk dor u mi lean fe. That is, i u behave as if they are their own minus atr analogs. Authors differ in whether they indicate vowel harmony in writing, as well as whether they write clitics as separate words. Consonants <laughs> <laughs> Consonants in word initial position are as follows All simple nasals, oral stops apart from q and glottal, and the sonorants l r y w may be geminated doubled, though geminate r only occurs in idiophones. Geminate consonants are written double, q is inherently geminate and may occur in initial position, otherwise geminate consonants and consonant clusters, including nt, nc, nk, nq, q, are restricted to word medial and final position. Of the consonants in the chart above, PDCK do not occur in medial or final position, being replaced by FRS and zero, though geminate PPDDCCKK are common. Phonetic PCK do occur finally, but only as allophones of BJG due to final devoicing. Minimal pairs Bet I Bet To find Boy To catch fire Boy To be glimmering Dag, a royal servant. Dag, to cut. Dej, funeral. Dej, cunt. Fen, to tell a lie. Fen, somewhere, nowhere. Gal, white gold. Gal, to regurgitate. Go, baboon. Go, a kind of bed. Gem, to believe. Gem, to close one's eyes. Ja, a family name. Ja, heaven. Neb, rotten. Neb, to hide. Wan, thread. Wanni, to count. Topic: <tones>, Tones. Unlike most sub-Saharan African languages, Wolof has no tone. Other non-tonal languages of Africa include Amharic, Swahili, and Fula. Topic Grammar Topic Notable Characteristics
Topic: <laughs> Pronoun conjugation instead of verbal conjugation. In Wolof, verbs are unchangeable stems that cannot be conjugated. To express different tenses or aspects of an action, personal pronouns are conjugated, not the verbs. Therefore, the term temporal pronoun has become established for this part of speech. It is also referred to as a focus form. Example, the verb dem means to go and cannot be changed. The temporal pronoun ma ngi means I, me, here and now. The temporal pronoun dina means I am soon, I will soon, I will be soon. With that, the following sentences can be built now. Ma ngi dem. I am going here and now. Dina dem. I will go soon. Topic: Conjugation with respect to aspect instead of tense. In Wolof, tenses like present tense, past tense, and future tense are just of secondary importance, they play almost no role. Of crucial importance is the aspect of an action from the speaker's point of view. The most important distinction is whether an action is perfective, i.e., finished, or imperfective, i.e., still going on, from the speaker's point of view, regardless whether the action itself takes place in the past, present, or future. Other aspects indicate whether an action takes place regularly, whether an action will take place for sure, and whether an action wants to emphasize the role of the subject, predicate, or object of the sentence. As a result, conjugation is not done by tenses, but by aspects. Nevertheless, the term temporal pronoun became usual for these conjugated pronouns, although aspect pronoun might be a better term. Example, the verb dem means, to go. The temporal pronoun na means, I already, definitely. The temporal pronoun dinna means, I am soon, I will soon, I will be soon. The temporal pronoun deme means, I am, regularly, usually. Now the following sentences can be constructed, dem na. I go already, I have already gone. Dinna dem. I will go soon, I am just going to go. Deme dem. I usually, regularly, normally, am about to go. If the speaker absolutely wants to express that an action took place in the past, this is not done by conjugation, but by adding the suffix w -o -o -n to the verb in a sentence, the temporal pronoun is still used in a conjugated form along with the past marker. Example, dimun na nadakaru. I already went to Dakar. Topic: <laughs> Action verbs versus static verbs and adjectives. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Consonant harmony. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Gender. Wolof does not mark for grammatical gender, there is one pronoun encompassing the English he, she, and it. The descriptors bu gor male, masculine, or bu jejane, female, feminine, are often added to words like zaret, friend, and rakk, younger sibling, to indicate the person's sex. Markers of noun definiteness, usually called definite articles, agree with the noun they modify. There are at least ten articles in Wolof, some of them indicating a singular noun, others a plural noun. In urban Wolof, spoken in large cities like Dakar, the article by is often used as a generic article when the actual article is not known. Any loan noun from French or English uses by, boutique by, zaret by, the boutique, the friend. Most Arabic or religious terms use g, juma g, jajain g, the mosque, the girl. Four nouns referring to persons use ki, nyi, nit ki, nit nyi, the person, the people. Plural nouns use yi, jajain yi, boutique yi, the girls, the boutiques. Miscellaneous articles. Si, gi, y, mi, li. Numerals Cardinal numbers The Wolof numeral system is based on the numbers 5 and 10. It is extremely regular in formation, comparable to Chinese. Example, Ben 1, Jerum 5, Jerum Ben 6, literally 5 1, fuck 10, 
Fuck ak jerum ben. 16. Literally. 10 and 5 1. Nyang fuck. 40. Literally. 4 10. Alternatively. 30. Is fanweer, which is roughly the number of days in a lunar month. Literally. Fan. Is day and. Weir. Is moon. Topic. Ordinal numbers Ordinal numbers first, second, third, etc. are formed by adding the ending al pronounced ayl to the cardinal number. For example, two is nyar and second is nyarayal. The one exception to this system is first, which is bunyek or the adapted French word premier, parami. Topic. Personal pronouns Topic Temporal pronouns Topic Conjugation of the temporal pronouns In urban Wolof it is common to use the forms of the third person plural also for the first person plural. It is also important to note that the verb follows certain temporal pronouns and precedes others. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Literature. The New Testament was translated into Wolof and published in 1987, second edition 2004, and in 2008 with some minor typographical corrections. Bubakar Boris Diop published his novel Dumi Golo in Wolof in 2002. The 1994 song, Seven Seconds, by Yusu Endur and Nena Cherry is partially sung in Wolof. <laughs> See also Pigeon Wolof. Okay. Maybe Wolof W A A W K, yes, with a suffix of emphasis, becoming I agree. Or I will comply. Wolof is reputed to have been a lingua franca among slaves in the USA, and to have had a strong influence on colloquial American English. Significantly, the emergence of OK in the vocabulary of Euro Americans dates from a period when many refugees from Southern slavery were arriving in the North, and this is where the word was first documented. The words banana, jive, dig meaning appreciate, yam and sock meaning to hit, are Wolof. It has been suggested that hep cat may also be of Wolof origin.